Good afternoon. Here's the latest news for the West Country. Coming up, don't walk all over us. The Devon students fighting to save their college and gearing up for the big NHS protest. Within the next half hour, governors at one of the region's most famous art colleges will reveal if it's to move. Many students and staff at Dartington in South Devon are desperate for it to stay, but it looks increasingly likely that it will have to find a new home. Sam Joseph reports. This was always going to be a difficult day. The students were determined not to make it any easier for the governors. This whole place is so special, like the environment and the place and the staff are what makes Dartington what it is and that would be lost if it moved. But today their colourful protest came up against the facts and figures in black and white. £20 million is needed to upgrade student accommodation and teaching facilities. The governors are talking through the options, Falmouth, Plymouth or possibly Torbay. But it's not just the 700 students and their lecturers who are fighting the move. Down the road here in Totnes, many local residents believe the college is vitally important both socially and economically. Totnes is such a wonderful place full of artists, musicians, local networks of people, uh, people connected to the college and we just don't want to see Totnes turning into a town full of second homes and people in 4 by 4s Local businessmen are looking at providing student accommodation off the estate site. The students hope the governors take this on board to safeguard the future of the famous college in its current location. Sam Joseph at Dartington College for West Country News. The most famous art colleges at its current home. Well, Dartington in South Devon educates 700 students every year and brings around £5 million into the local economy. But today, governors announced the college was moving to Falmouth because they can't afford essential improvements. Well, that doesn't wash with many of the students, staff and locals. Sam Joseph reports from Dartington. It was the result they'd been expecting, but the news was too much for some. I come directly from London and, you know, to be in an area like this where there is so much to see, so much to gain, you know, I can't even describe it, you know, so much to get influence from in my work. Everyone here has that. And to have that taken away, it's like ripping your heart out. There are people that have moved their entire lives here. The staff have built their entire lives around this place and to assess the value of the place purely on financial grounds is missing the point, in my opinion. According to the Board of Governors, the Arts College is no longer sustainable on the Dartington Hall estate. They're now looking at moving to Cornwall and merging with University College Falmouth. This could be a spectacularly ambitious project for the South West, the creation of the most exciting and comprehensive contemporary arts and education provision outside of London. The decision was made by the board this morning. It was always going to be a difficult day and the students were determined not to make it any easier for them. But today their colourful protest came up against the facts and figures in black and white. £20 million was needed to upgrade student accommodation and teaching facilities. Staying in Dartington was not an option. But it's not just the 700 students and their lecturers who are fighting the move. Down the road here in Totnes, many local residents believe the college is vitally important both socially and economically. Totnes is such a wonderful place, full of artists, musicians, local networks of people, uh, people connected to the college, and we just don't want to see Totnes turning into a town full of second homes and people in 4 by 4s Dartington College of Arts was set up in the 1960s, evolving from the rural experiments started by Leonard and Dorothy Elmhurst. The principals sure the Elmhurst legacy will continue, as will Dartington's international reputation. But a lot will undoubtedly change. These students will be able to finish their courses here, but many lecturers have said they won't move to Falmouth, a loss for students in years to come. Sam Joseph in Dartington for West Country News. He was paid to dispose of rubbish properly, but instead simply dumped it at beauty spots around Plymouth. Today, a judge described John Tapp. This has been a unique experiment in education, and especially education in the arts, which can never be repeated, is unlike anything else, and I mourn its loss. The health of the NHS staff joined demonstrations over concerns about its future. 
Also tonight, a bypass in the back garden. Residents' anger as an alternative road link to London is unveiled. I mean, no privacy, no, you know, no nothing. I mean, it's just dreadful, absolutely dreadful. And the demolition of the Devonport Divide. Locals finally get to explore beyond the wall. Controversial plans to move the historic Dartington College of Art from Devon to Cornwall have been approved. The news was greeted with tears from many of the students and staff who have campaigned against the move. The college says a merger with its Cornish counterpart in Falmouth is the only way it can survive. John Henderson reports. The day started with students laying siege to the meeting which would decide the fate of Dartington's College of Arts. They hoped that at the 11th hour the college could stay at the estate, its spiritual home, for over 40 years. My deciding factor of coming here was the grounds that it's on, as it's so inspirational. Everywhere you look is inspiration, you bounce off other people here. So, and if everyone goes, that's it. If they do have any compassion, that they will pay attention to the way that we're demonstrating. The college brings so much vibrancy to the place, and obviously it's got a lot of history here. But just after one o'clock, they realised the marches, public meetings and protests had come to nothing. As the Board of Governors left to a wall of silence, the emotion on the face of Student Union President Daniel Cook said it all. The college was to merge with the University College, Falmouth. It is a massive, massive blow. It cannot be allowed to happen. There are very few people that have not broken down and cried today. It's a great experiment in education that was started by our founders, the Elmhursts, and I take today as a personal act of betrayal to their vision. But that vision, which brought talent and international recognition, also created problems. The college's staff said it could not survive and grow at Dartington. It is preferable to create a new future for the college somewhere else than to close the college here, because a strong college somewhere in the southwest can support a strong activity here at Dartington. And if the college goes down, we won't be able to do that. Despite the devastating news for students, the creative work carried on. Hopefully, with um, art and music and dance, we will turn the table and put smiles on our faces by the end of tonight. The college isn't expected to quit Dartington for another two or three years, but today was undoubtedly the end of an era. John Henderson, BBC Spotlight, Dartington.